Hey everybody, Shane. Today we're gonna set up a rope for one sticking for a saddle hunter. So this rope we're gonna be using is Canyon Elite 9 millimeters, one of the most popular ropes on the market today. It's a super durable rope. It is actually meant for canyon explorers and it, it, it is designed to be wet constantly. So there's no uh, concerns if you're using it on a, a misty, rainy, cold, snowy day like many hunters may find themselves in. We're gonna tie in a Petzl Delta Link to it as well. So this is not a standard quick link like you buy at a hardware store. This is actually rated for 45 kilonewtons uh, on the long part of the triangle and 10 kilonewtons across if you're gonna be side loading it across the gate. So it is UIAA rated. It is not a standard uh, quick link like you would buy at a hardware store. So we're gonna actually tie a scaffold hitch into it. So I'm gonna take a good long length of rope at first, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap it around three times. Get plenty of slack on my tag end here. I'm gonna run them parallel, I'm gonna let my tag end hang. I'm gonna give it one, two, I'm gonna give it a third wrap and bring it over. And then I'm gonna bring it over to the back side. I'm gonna run it back through both of those loops and back out the bottom. This rope is new and is really stiff. And then I'm gonna dress that knot up a little bit. So I've got a little tag. Now I've got this big loop, but a scaffold knot's gonna slide easily. So here you can see when done properly, I'm gonna have one, two, three, one, two, three coils. This little tag end is going to be sticking out. I've got it dressed up. Now I'm going to put my quick link in. The quick link is really popular because you can walk up to a tree and with a scaffold hitch, it's going to cinch tight to it. So with the scaffold hitch on this quick link, I've got a pretty stable set up. I can actually hold this and move it. The, the quick link, it's not flopping around on me. It's actually going to stay pretty stable. So I'm going to walk up to the tree. I'm going to loop it around the tree and I'm going to bring it back. And once I do that, this gate prevents me from having to run the entire length of the rope back through the quick link. Once I get it around my tree, I can simply loop it in, close my screw gate, and I can go to work going up the tree. If you want to add a little friction and don't want your uh, rope being as quite as loose, just give it an extra twist in there. If you uh, watched a video I did on Kentucky Field, look closely at the carabiner I was using that day, and that's what I did. I induced a second loop into it, uh, three at one point, because I was having so much trouble with the rope actually slipping. So, although it's a 40 foot length of rope, uh, very unlikely that a saddle hunter is ever going to hit the bottom of it, but just in case, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put just a uh, stopper knot in the bottom of this. I'm just going to put a, uh, let's put a single twist in a stopper knot. And, and really all that's going to do at the bottom of the rope is it gives my hand something to feel. So as I'm coming down the rope, I'm going to be using my right hand as a brake hand. So I'm coming down and as, as I'm back here, I can't see what's behind me. I'm not looking down. It may be dark. It may be, uh, uh, just nasty conditions, but I've got that stopper knot and I'm gonna feel that with my hand. It's gonna keep me from rappelling off the end of the rope and falling. So this is my, gonna be a safety measure. I'm gonna put in the end of it. Uh, put one of these in the end of everything, your bridge, your tethers, just put this in it so that you don't just accidentally come off the bottom of it. So there you go. There's you a uh, one sticking setup. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.